how to list installed plugins using the Jenkins CLI. Here's today's starting point of a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. What do I need to do in order to list out all of the installed plugins on this controller? Well, I could go into the UI, click over to Manage Plugins, and click on Installed, and I could see all of the plugins there. But that doesn't help me if I want to do some sort of automation. So fortunately, the Jenkins CLI gives us the ability to list installed plugins. Now, if you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a link to a video down in the description about how to use the Jenkins CLI. Let's go over into Manage Jenkins. We'll scroll down to Jenkins CLI, and let's look for the command list plugins. And what it does is it outputs a list of installed plugins. We'll click on that. We can see that we can either give it list plugins, which will list out everything, or we can give it a specific name of a plugin. So we're gonna start with the simple example first. We're just gonna list out all of the plugins. So let's go over into our shell. We'll run the command list plugins. What we can see here is all of the plugins were listed out along with their version and the description of the plugin. So we can see that we start with ant and then we have a number of other plugins that show up until we're all the way through workspace cleanup. Now remember, we can also pass in the name of a plugin, but it's the name and not the description. So what we're gonna be looking at is basically the slug. That's this very first column. So let's say I only want to take a look at LDAP. So let's go ahead and run our command again, but now we're gonna pass in LDAP. And in this view, what we can see is we see LDAP, the description, and just the version. Now what happens when we pass in a value that is not an installed plugin? Well, let's try that out. There's a plugin I like to use called version column. It gives me information about what versions of remoting and Java are installed on my agents. So if I was to go ahead and run the command again, instead of LDAP, I'm gonna say version column. Now on this controller, I don't have version column installed. So when I hit enter, it just gives me the error, no plugin with the name version column found. So in this case, I'm looking for it, it's not found. And we can also see from the status that it returned back a status code of three. So if I was trying to automate, okay, what plugins are installed on this controller, if I got a full list, I could automate it and check for the status code. And it's like, oh, this isn't a status code zero. There is an error here. And then I would follow whatever process I would do to make sure that that plugin was installed then on that controller from then on. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.